Hello, we're back. We've just escaped the Crypts of the Sacred Blood. And it's on our way to Stonebridge. Going on behind us. I bet there's enemies. Nothing exceptional, but somebody. Gold, ooh, a black scrub. Way tougher than your uh, bog standard scrub. That was surely worth some XP. Alright, we're going to Stonebridge. A Krug grunt there. Substantially tougher than the, uh... Scouts and scavengers, we've been fighting. Some slightly punchier Krug. Out and about. Leather gloves, uh, first come, first serve. Yolora's got the gloves, okay. Well, somebody got their house torched by Krug. Yikes. healing potions? No, must have just gotten hit while drinking. Oh, Yulor's out. Yulor's unconscious. Fortunately, when you have more than one party member, uh... Fortunately, when you have more than one party member, they fall unconscious at zero hit points. It's only when your whole party's unconscious that everybody dies. Although sometimes you can die while unconscious. But, uh, they're merciful, like, uh, most D&D editions. Eh, uh, what was I doing? Studded leather gloves. Those will be useful, uh, when we're strong enough for them. Strength 13. It's a, it's a ways off. Oop, here's their camp. Stone bridge that away. Okay, pretty big encampment of them. Studded leather boots, too. Well, also requires strength 13, so someone's gonna upgrade from uh, leather to studded leather at some point. I see a shaman. Here is a big tower. Uh, 
There's so many stairs! <laughs> Top of the tower? Krug Shaman boss. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Hello, Huskar. You look fairly tough. sets of cloth. Nobody, uh, nobody's a wizard in our party yet, but we can sell those. Lots of gold. A dull blade. It's a decent sword that requires strength 13. Okay, well, let's hold on to that when we've got a melee party member. Melee. Interesting word, Melee. Like most gamers, I thought it was melee for a long time. I'm sure, because, you know, most people hear it from gaming rather than uh, anywhere else. And it's, it's seldom spoken aloud, so... Melee. <laughs> That was a pretty good exposi exposition about how uh, how much tougher grunts are than scouts. The scouts run, though. They're the only Krug who run, which is interesting. Yes, Kerr, 
Anybody coming? No? Okay. Oh boy, that's a big one. Yeah. Uh, they're mostly scouts. I think we'll be okay. Okay-ish. Can we, can we run? Scouts run too. Uh, not as fast as us. Okay. See him off in the distance, the last Krug boss, Futak. Yeah, runaway time. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away. Run away. They retreat, do they? So that was Futak. Tough guy, and he comes with a uh, unique magical shield, Krohar's Buckler. That's not it. Uh, defense 5, requires strength 13. Okay. Cap. Requires strength 13. Okay. I just dodged an arrow, you see that? Nice for a day at the beach. A nice spooky black sand. Are there seagulls? Mm, don't see no seagulls. Is that a cave? Kind of a cave, it's got a barrel in it. Love that theme. I probably just ruined it for you. Black scrub, thought so.
are doing on potions. And she's still got pretty big ones. Yeah. Very close to Stonebridge now. Alright, Yalora hit level 2. Whereas I'm pushing level 5. <laughs> She'll never be as good an archer as me. She'll be the backup archer. And she'll get all my hand-me-downs. Every time uh, I get strong enough for a new bow, I'll give her my old bow. <laughs> kind of how it works in these games. Yep, two archers, one's always going to be a little bit better and have the better stuff. better than a dull blade. Both require strength 13. 12 to 22. 14 to 25. Dull blade is better. Oh, I'll sell the Gladius. Stonebridge? Sure is. Alright, we finished our quest. For the first chapter, at least. With only a name given by a dying friend, our beleaguered hero entered the battle-worn gates of Stonebridge. Who could know then that the arrival of one humble farmer from the fields would change the very course of the kingdom? Who indeed? Okay. If you've come looking for help, you'll not get much here. What the Krug couldn't carry off in a wagon, they smashed up or burned. They even put Gravemaker, my blessed old catapult, to the torch. Even though that beauty hasn't thrown a stone since I was a pup. It don't take a wizard to smell the goblins behind this Krug raid, but the Overseer of Glacier needs to be told what happened here nonetheless. If you're up for the task, can I come along? Sure. This is, uh... This is Nork's friend Giorn. Uh, I knew you would be the right sort for this trick. Well, my friend. So, by fulfilling, uh, by fulfilling Nork's quest, we've got... Yorn's quest, and we've got to go to the Overseer in Glacier. See how we can arm Giorn. Okay, we'll give him the helmet, the Gladius, or the dull blade, these uh, studs, studded leather stuff, the hack, the metal buckler, and 
and uh, Crowhars Buckler as well. Yes, and we're gonna, this stuff we sell. That we sell, and Eulora keeps the Heart Stopper. Let's see, which did I say? Would sell. Sell the Gladius, yeah. And the rest of this stuff, uh, Bjorn will equip when he's strong enough. Time to do some shopping. Now, uh, now remember, because of my self-imposed challenge of only uh, only using free party members, I will not be uh, recruiting any of the three mercenaries or two pack mules that are here in town. But I will show you where they are for your own playthrough purposes. So yeah, let's explore Stonebridge. Let's talk to everyone. Alana Blessstone. You're the first farmer to come to our mill since those horrible Krugs started their rampage. Oh, but you aren't coming to deliver grain, are you? If it is as bad as they say in the farmlands, we are in for hard times ahead. Since the Krug made off with most of our food stores and the farmers aren't delivering their grain to the mill, we won't be able to feed ourselves for more than a week at best. I tried to get to the beach to catch some fish, but it looks like the Krug left behind some of those terrible scrubs. I petitioned the guard captain to help clear the beach, but he doesn't seem to understand how much trouble we're in, and he doesn't want to remove any guards from the gates until they're repaired. I could never do it, but if you are brave and think you can clear off the beach, it would mean a lot to the townspeople. Now, you'd think that was a quest, you know, to clear the beach, but uh, it is not. I think I cleared the beach. Callus. Whoever taught those stupid Krug how to raise skeletons and set fire to good people's homes should be put to the Ten Stone for what they have done. As if the raid weren't bad enough, those Krug vermin have brought those terrible insects from the mountains. Referring to Frax, I assume. Hello, Guard Captain. You're safe enough here for now. I think the Krug have a bad taste for us after the slaughter we handed them last night. That a good Captain. And, uh, can't talk to the other guard? No? Okay. A book about the ruins of Wesrin Cross, which is important. Nah! <laughs> Normally I like lore in games, but, uh, this isn't the game for it. This is a game for hacking and slashing. Hello, Mara. Why the Krug thought they would find magical artifacts in Stonebridge is beyond me. They came through breaking everything that didn't look magical and stealing everything that did. It was horrible. A few pitchforks and rake handles aren't reason enough to put all of Stonebridge to the Ten Stone. Gresh say burn. Gresh say smash. If ever I find out who Gresh is, there'll be some smashing and burning, all right. Okay, over here... This guy will sell you two of his pack mules. Pack mules are very useful because they have lots and lots of inventory space, so uh, you can use them to hang on to your treasures. But, uh... Hmm. I debated whether or not to get one pack mule for my party, but, you know, I think I'm going to keep to my vow. Only free party members, and, uh... Pack mules count. Here at this store, there's John. He'll sell you. He's your, uh, he's your gear merchant here. Welcome to the Black Hammer Forge. The Krug stole most of our wares, but you won't get a better deal on what we got left. What can I show you today? Okay, so the Gladius, the staff, the cloths. Bjorn, you're keeping everything. Um, okay, I'm gonna get him. Get him a cap. Okay, I gotta get 
give him, uh, oh, we've already got boots, okay, gloves, get him gloves, he needs a better suit of arm, what's he got, thin, he's got regular leather, with defense 11, let's get him, get him some studded leather, nice, bit feminine. I don't know, might have him trade armor with you, Laura. Oh, we could do better than Alton's leather, too. Yeah. There we go. And, uh, weapons. Good bow. Short recurve. That's a pretty good bow for this level. I think I'm gonna have Khan take it. And I'll give you Laura the Brittle Bow for now. 9 to 15, 8 to 14. Yeah, so that's uh, one better. Giorn. Okay, Giorn needs a helmet that he can wear now. I guess leather cap like the rest of us. Nice. And, uh, maybe he can get a better weapon than that mace. 9 to 11, 10 to 13. Crusted Gladius, 8 to 15. <clears throat> I think the mace is pretty good. Maybe a better shield than that super rusty one. I think we're good to go here. Unless, let's see. I don't want everybody wearing the same helmet. I want some customization. But there isn't anything else worth uh, two defense. Ah well, we'll find we'll find helmets out in the wilderness. I think we're good here. Thanks for coming by. Come back again soon. Yeah, Gjorn and Gilora switch armor, because the studded leather looks like uh, women's armor. There we go. You know, just because it's, it's pink and it's got a nice pattern and, you know, Okay, Grip, back to Glitter Delve, and Glacern. Gotta go through Glitter Delve to get to Glacern, so long journey ahead of us. So, uh, as far as mercenaries, one of them is Zed, who specializes in nature magic. I forgot to mention Gjorn, he's a squire. He's got two levels in melee. And, uh, so, you know, the most efficient thing to do would be to keep training him up in melee, but I've made a pretty good combat mage out of him in some playthroughs. Hello, Ella Riverstarn. The raid last night was terrible. I barely escaped with my life. When my sister hears about what the Krug did to us here, she'll be furious. Oh, she'll be worried that I was hurt. She's an archer in the Legion, stationed at Glacern. If you're going that way, could you tell her I'm alright? I'm sure she'll make it worth your while. Her name is Ada. Oh, I hope Ada's not worried about me. Alright, so we're gonna tell her sister Ada in Glacern. So we get more reason to go to Glacern. Yeah, let's see, is he in here? No. There we go, Rusk. Rusk here is, uh, he specializes in melee. He's more powerful than Giorn, I think. But he's the most expensive of the three, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, two of your mercenaries you can find at the inn. 
And uh, in my experience, you can really only afford one of the three mercenaries because they cost a lot. They cost like a thousand gold each. So, uh, and that's, uh, you know, pretty much what I've got. What I've got to spare, so. One. One mercenary and one pack mule is usually how I go from, uh, from Stonebridge. But which one? Well, that varies. This time, none. I'm gonna get killed dead. Okay, here we go at the temple. As a night shrine of passion. Now, the temples are where you buy spells and potions. And, uh, Naidi here. He's uh, your third mercenary, and she specializes in archery. The god's fire is in you, child. If you have need of potions, I have a few that may be of use and can be bought cheaply. Do you wish to see them? I think these uh, resurrection scrolls here. I think I'm going to get a few of those, stick them in the spell books that we have, in case somebody dies. Uh, I'll get six of them. Two for each of us. Potions. Uh, we're okay with potions. I'll grab Gjorn a few here. do it. And, uh, third spell book for Gjorn, just in case. The blessings of Azunai the Defender upon you. Travel safely. Alright, we're a trio now, and so we will be all the way to Glitter Delve. If you're headed north, we haven't seen anything but Krug come from that direction since the attack last night. If you manage to clear Glitter Delve Pass, it's going to be a lot easier for us to secure the road when Captain gives the word. Clear Glitter Delve Pass, eh? All right, autosave. That's it for this video then, viewers. This is gonna get difficult.